Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools uh, tutorial videos. So today we're going to be learning how to create a group. Groups in Pro Tools are very useful because they let you process and treat several tracks as if they were just one, okay? This is one of those things that you're going to be using a lot, especially when you're editing or mixing, okay? So uh, we have a session here. Uh, we have a click track, we have a piano track, that it's it's a track with some MIDI information. And we have two kick tracks, kick one and kick two. These are audio tracks, okay? So imagine that kick one is our kick drum, the one that we j just recorded. And then kick two is the same track, it's duplicated. And let's say I did it because um, I'm going to be replacing that with a sample, okay? So... Um, Let's create the group. How do we do it? Very easy. We select the first track, and then if we hold shift, click on the next one, you can see both are selected. We can go track group, or we can do the key command, command G on a Mac or control G on a PC, and the create group window will pop. So here, um, we have a name. Okay, so we're gonna click and delete that. By default, it'll just label it as group one, group two, group three, you know, so on and so forth. But we're gonna create, uh, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna call it kicks, okay? Kicks for kick drums. So, uh, you can see here, it says tracks. Currently in the group, it's kick one and kick two. Uh, you can always add more from the available list. Like if I wanna add the piano, I could just click on the piano and then click on add. And now the piano is part of the group. And if you're going to remove it, you can simply click on piano and then remove. <coughs> now, um, you have three types of groups. Edit groups, mix groups, mix groups, and mix edit. Uh, we're going to be talking about that in a future tutorial. Now, you also have an ID. You can set your ID for the group. Okay? And the VCA, if you want to associate this to a VCA. Right now, it's set to none because we don't have any VCAs. Okay? <coughs> We also have the attributes, okay? Uh, the attributes are the uh, the parameters are going to be grouped, okay? In this case, as you can see, we have this selected as follow globals. If we have this selected follow globals, then these are the global attributes, okay? Global attributes, imagine this is like a preset, okay? It's like a preset called globals. If this is set here, then it'll follow this guy. Now, if we don't have this, we can go to attributes and create our custom <coughs> attributes list, okay? Right now, it's set to globals. So whatever is set on this uh, tab, uh, it's going to be grouped. So for example, if you do insert A, controls, and bypass, then if you have the same insert on the A slot on both tracks, then the controls are going to be linked. So if you have an EQ, for example, in kick one and kick two, and you're, you know, you're playing with the input gain of the EQ, and you tweak it on kick one, it's, all go it's also going to be tweaked on kick two. Same for the bypass. Now we also have the volume and the mute um, controls um, grouped. <clears throat> we also have record enable, input monitoring, solo automation mode, and we can also do like sense and all the inserts, panning, LFE, so on and so forth. So by now we're gonna leave it like that and we're gonna press OK. And here's the group. It's shown on our groups list, okay? By the way, if you don't see this, you can always hide it and show it by clicking on the bottom left corner. <clears throat> so, um, if we right click on the kicks and we go again to modify, we can see this again. So we said that um, we have the volume and mute uh, linked, or I guess associated to the group. So if we go to the mix window um, and we mute them, both get muted, as you could see. If we play with the fader, volume, uh, as you can see, I'm just dragging kick two, but then kick one also gets dragged down and up because they're linked. Same thing with uh, like, well, input monitor, I can't input monitor because I don't have any input, but um, you can solo input monitor and record enable. <clears throat> now, um, if we go here, modify, 
we also have the automation mode, okay? The automation mode is set to that group, so if we go back to our mix window and we change the automation mode here to, let's say, touch, you can see both went to touch. If we go to right, both went to right. If we go to uh, off, for example, both go to off. So that's the group. Um, if you want to disengage or disable the group temporarily, you can just click here where it says kicks on the name. And as you can see, it's not selected anymore. It's not blue, okay? That means that the group is off. You can uh, confirm that by simply muting one of the tracks. As you can see, only one gets muted, but when you click on it and you select it, both get muted. So those are the groups in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from a BDM PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.